I have actually watched a lot of uh, Richard Spencer because I wanted to understand his uh, appeal, and I've noticed that uh, he is very watchable. You know? But um, he's, is there a difference between white nationalism, white supremacy, and then you know going into uh, you know whether he, he's a Nazi or not? Yeah. I, so I, I I would call Richard both a white nationalist and a white supremacist. I I, I think he does believe that that. Uh, white people are biologically and culturally better than others, and that's what white supremacy is. Um, now, that said, if he wants to make a distinction and say, look, there's a difference here. Uh, there is uh, a desire for a white nation that I have, uh, but we could distinguish that from believing that whites are supreme. I could see a distinction being made. I, I think he happens to be both of those. But of these groups have always wanted to to cut the the the, uh, the the labels very very finely. Now, where this gets complicated though is that the labels are often used um, by their enemies, especially as terms of abuse. The the fact that the the words are thrown around as terms of abuse makes it a lot harder to to use the analytic portions of our mind and figure out what. what they really believe in where these ideas came from, which I, I think is far more important than whether we, um, you know, start by, we don't want to start by disapproving of them just by pointing the finger and using a, 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 oh, yeah. a nasty word. So Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.